Okay, this is the table I'm going to recover. This is one that I have in my little pub shed. Uh, I am going to recover the base and I'm also going to replace the cushions. That Those cushions are, are a kit that I bought online. They were already recovered, all new wood, all new rubbers, and we're just gonna bolt those straight on. So let's get started. First thing to do is remove the drawer, which I will do now. Now we have unlocked the drawers, let's now remove it. Okay, so I'll show you actually where the clips are inside the table. There is where the drawer is. So up we have one here. This is at the end where you queue off. And then we have another one here, about six inches away from the center pocket. Then we have one to the other side of the center pocket. And then we have one at the other end where the balls come out. Okay, now that we have the side rails of the tail table lifted and we have them propped up, we are now going to remove the cushions. And this is a very straightforward process. If we look in there, hopefully you can see that. There, there you can see it now. There's a little castellated nut in there. Now a castellated nut is this, is a castellated nut. The top of it, as you can see, this is actually like a little castle. And once that moves freely, and we have three, there's three of these castellated nuts per side, per cushion, sorry, and then we just remove it. Then once we have that loose, it's very simple, just pull the cushion off. Next step is to remove these bolts. Because we need to now fit these into the new captive nuts and the new cushions. Like that. Next stage is to remove all the staples. This bed is slate, and around the edge is wood. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna use this tool to remove all the staples, like so. You could, of course, or you could, of course, just simply use a little flat screwdriver. Okay, so that is all the staples now removed, excluding the parts behind these brackets and that took about 25 minutes but hopefully it'll be worth it so we'll now go ahead and remove the cloth okay there's all the staples completely removed i have also give the top of the table a bit of a quick clean and we are now hopefully going to start the covering process okay so there i have my cloth laid out on the table now just a word about this cloth this is as you can see genuine pure quality so it's striking cloth and it's 6811 now there is actually a right and a wrong way to put this cloth on so in the direction of play it will be feel smooth and in the opposite direction there will feel like a bit of a drag on the cloth so direction of play, smooth, up the table, a very slight drag on the cloth. So I've put a couple of staples at the top end of the table and I'm going to put it tight and put a bit of tension on it and staple it at this end. Now, unfortunately I don't have a tripod stand to actually film this as I'm doing it, but I'm working around top, bottom, top bottom pulling and stapling now i'm able to do this single-handedly and i also have a broken thumb so but it seems to be going okay so far uh let's see if i can film this for you
Okay, so there is the cloth, now all pulled very tight. You can actually still see a bit of lines in it where the cloth was ship folded, but that will come out. So it's all nice and tight. Very, very tight. There's no play in that at all. Um, so now I'll get on and do the pockets. Onto the corner pocket. There's a lot of access here. I want to get rid of that. So uh, I now have down a blanket covering the table to protect it from overspray and I'm also going to put down some newspaper as well again just to protect it from overspray so we want to fold this over so that we can spray it underneath or spray the adhesive onto it like that And we'll leave that for a minute or so. Okay, about a minute has passed. We will now start to glue this down by feeding it down gently, feeding it round and in the shape. Pull and push, pull and push it in, pull and push it in the whole way around. Keep doing it and then feed it on there. So there's the table now, I have it all together, the new cushions are on, it has been re-clothed, took me about 4 hours removing the old cushions, putting the new ones on and putting on the new cloth and obviously removing the old cloth and all the staples etc. Uh, it's a nice tight finish, uh, in all I'm very happy with it. Uh, the cushions have turned out well, uh, obviously they were pre-bought like that. The uh, pockets all look really nice, nicely finished. Uh, in all, I am very, very happy with it. Just need to give it a bit of a vacuum. Uh, there's a few lines in it yet just where it was, it was actually sent to me via mail order and it was uh, folded up quite tightly but they will come out the sur plain surface is brilliant very happy with it so there you go you can save yourself a lot of money by having a go and recovering your own table